So myself is Dr. Pradeep Kumar Goswami. I am a consultant gynecologist and obstetrician and a subspecialist in fetal and maternal medicine. I am the founder and director of Fetomat Foundation and the lead consultant in this team. Well, uh, fetal well-being assessment is the assessment of fetal well-being or health of the uh, baby towards the later half of the pregnancy, somewhere around 32 to 34 weeks it is done in most of the pregnancies. It assesses three things. One is number one, the baby is growing all right. That means uh, the baby's growth is as expected in terms of grams or kilograms as far as the weeks or the gestational age or duration of pregnancy. The second thing is whether there is enough water around the baby called as amniotic fluid. Uh, it makes the baby safe uh, inside the uterus. And the third thing is whether the baby is getting enough blood from the mother through its umbilical artery. It is called as umbilical artery dropless study, you know. Now, all these three things are important to make sure that the baby is living in a right kind of atmosphere inside the mother's uterus and also helps the obstetrician to decide the time. Normally, 37 weeks is the maturity of the pregnancy and most of the pregnancies are delivered by 40 weeks. So, therefore, to decide the time of delivery between 37 or 40 weeks, when to do that? And how to do that, whether it's your normal delivery or a caesarean section, this is the questions that comes in the obstetrician or, uh, uh, or the prospective parent's mind. And this test, the fetal well-being assessment at around 8 weeks helps to answer uh, those questions, you know. It is done through ultrasound, no blood tests are involved in it, it's a purely ultrasound based test and it answers these three questions. Now, in high-risk pregnancies, like for the IVA pregnancies, uh, the pregnancies with medical problems like diabetes or uh, any other medical problems in the mothers, someone who had previous pregnancy loss like intrauterine fetal death or, uh, you know, recurrent pregnancy loss history or any other complications during the pregnancy which has developed something like a small baby and things like that, they need some more extra assessment what we call as the serial fetal well-being assessment from 28 weeks onwards every 2 to 4 weeks till the time of the delivery. Again, you know, it aims to make the baby, keep the baby safe inside the uterus and to decide the right time of the delivery which sometimes happens before 37 weeks depending on the risk perception assessed by the obstetrician through this test.